Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. In this episode of TST Garage, I will be demonstrating how to install the new TST Industries carbon fiber front fender on a 2015 and up Yamaha R1. This part actually also fits directly onto the FC10 MT10 model. This installation is very simple. It'll take about five minutes. Uh, we'll get started in just a short while. I just wanted to mention that these parts are made of 100% carbon fiber. Uh, there is no filler material in there. They are very rigid and very lightweight. And a really good way to get yourself that factory race bike look on the front portion of your bike. So now without further ado, we'll start the install. So in the first step, we'll be removing these three fasteners. To do that, I will be using a five millimeter Allen key. This fastener holding the bracket here and the fender behind it actually has a 10 millimeter nut behind it, but with my power tool here, I can actually crack it loose. If that doesn't happen for you, or if you're using manual tools, I recommend getting a box wrench or an open-ended wrench around this nut from behind, and that will facilitate this process. I'll repeat this procedure on the, the right side of the bike. And now the fender will just be free to come off. Work it off the bike and put it to the side. Now a quick note about our fender. I'll demonstrate it to you here. We've done away with this rear mount here because we have less open space cut into our carbon construction and carbon itself is a lot stiffer. So that is a redundant point of um, attachment. And also for racing purposes, typically to take off the wheel, to facilitate taking off the wheel with the calipers in place, there's a bracket employed that does away with this bracket and actually rotates around the bottom fork tube. So in preparation for that type of use, we've done away with that mount. Okay, so now I'll just stretch it over all the components here and align it with my mounting bosses. On the way back in, I will not be using a power tool. I need to align the screw with, with the threads on the boss and then engage the threads, making sure not to cross thread the screws into the aluminum boss. I'll do the two forward screws on each side first. All right, now I'll make sure that this portion of the fender does not make contact with the leading edge of my fork tube and actually poise it as much forward as it can go and then start bottom, bottoming these fasteners out by hand. And now my torque wrench set at eight foot pounds. I'll tighten all this up. Okay, so the remaining step here will be to use the remaining hardware left over to fasten the brake line and wheel sensor uh, bracket onto this mounting boss here. So I will reuse the same screw that was in that spot, even though it's a little bit long. For racing applications, you would replace this with an aluminum screw or just a shorter screw. All right, once that's bottomed out, I'll get it tightened up to the same torque. And this time I will be using a box wrench on the back to hold the nut in place. Now repeat that step on the right side of the bike. Okay, 
And there it is. That's all there's to it. Takes about five minutes and the bike is ready to go. The great new look and a light lightened front end. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and consider checking out our website, visiting us to see more of parts for this bike and other bikes. And um, I'll see you next time.